Good morning. It's 30 degrees and I'm putting a Max Air fan in the sprinter this morning. There's the fan. Had to get out the big boy ladder this morning. The six foot ladder just didn't cut it. I've got some wood up here to keep from denting the roof. And I got this adapter. It makes a nice template and it also has a notch in it for the ribs and the roof. So I've taped the adapter in place and marked out where the hole's gonna go. And then I center punched the corners to get the drill bit started. So let's get going. for the jigsaw. All right, I taped off around the hole just so the shoe of the jigsaw doesn't cut or scratch up the paint, especially on the ribs. Time to cut. Clean it up with a file and then paint. I'm using an oil based rust oleum and a foam brush. I usually think of this kind of stuff when it's too late, but I did think to put up some visqueen um, that I clamped to the ceiling to catch all the shavings and also for the paint so the paint doesn't hit the floor. So the way that this works, this roof adapter has some recesses in it for the rib on the roof and the side is rolled to help it clear um, the ribs that run the length of the van. So that's gonna go on the roof like that. Here is the Max Air fan adapter that drops into the hole. I met a guy at a Sprinter event when I was thinking about buying my Sprinter. His name is Dave. And he had highly recommended making some strips of aluminum to sit over the top because apparently these plastic frames bend over time. They can also crack since the roof isn't totally straight. So I will be putting these on top and running screws through the aluminum, then through the Max Air Fan adapter, then through this other adapter that I bought online, and then the van sheet metal. And on top of that will be a die core sealant to seal it all up. Now I'm going to pre-drill the adapter and then I'll get on the roof and drill holes in the roof. Okay, now I have the max fan adapter and the roof adapter clamped to the roof. Now I need to drill the holes for the van through the sheet metal. So now I'm going to use some of this 3M4200 adhesive that's going to glue this adapter to the roof. That's what's recommended by the guy who makes the adapter. Don't buy this stuff in a tube like I did. You have to be an absolute gorilla to get the stuff applied. Buy it in a caulking type container. Take this butyl tape and run it around the perimeter. 
these are the sides and this is the back. I want the seam to be at the back since water is going to be at highway speeds driven in from the front. So I'll put my seam here. Okay, I've given a couple hours for this glue to dry. It's probably not as much as I recommend, but it's gonna rain tomorrow, so this is gonna get done tonight. filming so I had to move this along it's gonna, gonna rain before too long but I put down the lap sealant I thought everybody online whose uh, videos I saw where they put the stuff on I thought it looked really sloppy and guess what so does mine so I got the lap sealant on um, covering up the screws then all I had to do is drop the fan in place and there's you have to raise the fan Drop in the four screws, screw it down. And that's it. It's done. All right, here's the final product. sketchy temporary wiring.